What's up guys? I hope you are well. Uh, I know that I've been away from my YouTube for a while, but I'm gonna start it up now again and I'm so excited for you guys to join me on this journey. Uh, and I have a new content creator, or a new, I don't, never have one, but this is uh, my first one, uh, Marcus, and we're gonna meet him soon, so it's gonna be so amazing and awesome. And this uh, YouTube channel this is going to be all about, you know, fun pranks and stuff uh, that you guys can, you know, help me out to uh, come up with new ideas. Also, of course, training tips and also me as a personal trainer online uh, and uh, Marbella and of course Charlotte and uh, yeah, much more than that as well. So I'm so excited and I'm so sorry that I've been gone for such a long time, but now it's time to get started. Let's meet Marcus. So, yes, Marcus arrived a little bit late yesterday. Uh, so we're starting the day with a dog walk and then we're going down to the gym. Uh, and I'm super excited about this. Super excited. And Marcus came from really bad weather in Sweden to this beautiful Marbella weather. Yes. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, and super nice to be down here. I'm super excited. Uh, I come from the south part of Sweden called Skåne. Um, so it's like totally flat all around. Here it's mountains everywhere. So. Uh, I'm gonna get in good shape and not only because of that also because he is gonna put me into some crazy training workouts yes Marcus is gonna get in really really good shape and I'm actually uh, actually really excited about it I'm gonna get the, your um, PT lessons yes yeah, so Marcus is gonna get in really really good shape uh, so he's on a nutrition plan now and also on a tr training plan and he's gonna do most of the training with me and get in really really good shape so you guys gonna see an awesome timeline uh, so it's gonna take a picture every day and then we're gonna do or he's gonna do is like that's a timeline uh, I think 100 days or something or maybe more yeah uh, and hopefully you will see from episode to episode that I'm getting a little bit less chips to the <laughs> as we call in Sweden Okay guys, so now we walk the dogs and we are going to start the day. So we're gonna take the bikes and go out in Marbella. So check this out and also doing an interview. Yeah. Also, I have one little disclaimer. Uh, I know the sound may not be so good and also the image might be a little shaky. And I promise we're gonna upgrade the equipment. So this will be better to next week. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Marcus, are you ready? I'm super ready. So now we are going to pump Marcus uh, what is it, Nick? Uh, tires? Tires. tires. And also 
get new brakes for my bike because they are super broken. It's so much hills here and uh, you need to change the brakes like once every four weeks. Crazy road to the gym. This is the not so beautiful part. It's going to the gym. Marcus is worried about his tires. How you doing, man? Flat tires. We made it. Oh boy. CrossFit workout is going to be quick and super thick so it's going to be a training session probably one hour warm up a few workouts and then Igor uh, asked for a massage so I'm going to massage Igor a little bit and then I'm going up. <laughs> So this is gonna be my share. This is the share for Marcus. Really beautiful. And also a table for the Red Bull. Let's start the interview. Welcome to this little uh, question. chat. Yeah, chat. Kind of a podcast chat. Q and A, A and Q. I Here's want to get story. to know you better, and I guess the audience as well. Yes. So I've uh, prepared some questions for you. How come you started with CrossFit? Was there any special reason why you chose this sport? So for me, why I chose CrossFit. Uh, before CrossFit, I did uh, a lot of martial arts. Uh, martial arts? Martial arts? Martial arts for boxing, <laughs> as you can uh, maybe notice now. <laughs> no, so I did a lot of boxing before, and uh, I always kind of liked to compete, so I did a few fights. I won them all, so that's awesome. Not on a crazy level, but still. And that was before I knew that CrossFit, CrossFit even exists. Exists. <laughs> Okay, I'm a bit drunk and just took a few shots of tequila. No, it existed. So, and then I heard about CrossFit uh, and I tried it out and I really, really liked it and enjoyed it. And then basically from there, I just started doing CrossFit and at the same time I was working, working as a sailor, a seaman, not a sperm, but like a seaman uh, on the sea. Uh, and. Uh, I did it at the same time as I did CrossFit and I just wished for the sport to grow. The biggest wish was to be able to only train, earn enough money just so I can train and that's it. 
uh, and of course the uh, dreams become bigger and after a while that was no problem because then I had sponsors and uh, got some prize money and then I could stop working uh, and also I have a really really nice parents that helped me uh, a lot in the beginning. How long had you been uh, doing CrossFit before you got sponsored by Red Bull and uh, how did that happen? So when I started, uh, or took probably I think I done CrossFit for probably four years from the first time I started until Red Bull started to sponsor me, or maybe three, years, three and a half years, four years maybe. It was a, a smaller like sponsor team back in the start, and there was actually one of the guys who own I Can I Will, uh, Gustav Olas, and also one other guy who worked at Red Bull, and Gustav worked with a little bit at Red Bull. They like headhunted crossfitters in like Sweden, so they interviewed like a bunch of us, uh, and then it ended up with me and one other girl who got sponsored, and then she quit like one year after. Of course, I did not. <laughs> Love the brand; it's so awesome, and I can't say no to that. What do you feel is your biggest accomplishment so far? Except from getting Marcus down here from Sweden. <laughs> and no, of course, the third place uh, at CrossFit Game 2018. That was, uh, yes, my biggest accomplishment. La 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 <laughs> So you're also working as a PT online? Yes. And how did you end up there? And like, uh, so, Where did you find that passion? How, how, I, how I found it. I found it on the rock. When did you re bang. realize that, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do? No, so it's all, I always have been, you know, enjoying helping other people with training and nutrition and uh, stuff like that and competing or like, it doesn't matter what your goal are in training. It can be just to get healthier or uh, being stronger, better at CrossFit or whatever. Or, you know, like train to be able to like play with your grandkids or your kids. I've been like done the journey to get pretty fit, I guess, uh, and I know what it takes. And also, I love to learn like other people like about my experience and bring them to them and help them. Like depending on the level they are, you have to adjust everything, and that's kind of that's really fun too. Like with the training, and try to help them to reach their goals and. Uh, you know, it's just so much about uh, having a good communication with them. Let's talk about the Open. Yes. Uh, it's just uh, in a couple of days, you're gonna have the... Around the corner. The, around the corner, <laughs> we have the Open. <laughs> and uh, what are you thinking about it? Are you like, uh, do you have any thoughts? Well, for this year it's been just a special year, I guess, for everyone. Uh, at competing at the CrossFit Games before, like all the athletes, it's uh, just very different because of the situation and I know like the motivation for so many people and also myself has been really much up and down uh, and being sick back and forth probably corona I don't know uh, but we've been locked in here <laughs> for before like four months uh, and I haven't competed like in a long time now so but I've been training as good as I can and just trying to enjoy the training and do the best out of it and uh, I'm kind of excited that it starts actually it's gonna be fun to see what do you think about it? Should we should we show them when you do your open uh, on Friday? Yeah, guys, what do you think? Do you want to see the results and the whole open workout? Maybe I don't know. Or maybe we should just spin over to uh, the open. The open. Yeah, let's do it. Should we? Yes. <laughs> then I'll do it. Spin it.
See you guys. See you guys. See you. See you.